Hello guys, so today, actually wait, not today, but not today, today. On this day, about four years ago, I um I actually got hit by a car. And you must be wondering, why have I got a massive smile on my face, right? But in truth, I actually love telling this story. It's one of the, like, it's, it's an interesting story because I remember everything that's happened on that day. And the reason why I remember everything that happened on that day is because it was just funny and like crazy, but it was just, it was life changing in one sense, but it was just more of a humble experience for me to have. And this is all just from a car crash. Um, but just before I start, uh, please do like, subscribe and share this video. Um, hopefully we can just try to build up on it and just get you guys some more. Um, I'm at home right now and I was going to start recording and sit down but I literally cannot be asked to like sit and talk it's like I don't know why I feel much more confident and easy going by walking and talking right but um yeah I'll yeah so I'm just going to be literally walking back and forth so um it's a bit of a weird thing but I'm home alone so nobody can see that this is what I'm doing so it's all right it's all right uh, I'll speak to you soon I say I'll speak to you soon, but literally it was just two seconds only so I could swap my arm because damn, it, just holding the phone up in the air, it's, it's going to take a lot of arm muscles, so hopefully I'll get used to it. But um, yeah, so it was four years ago on this day, um, November the 25th, um, 2016, uh, I got hit by a car. And it was a funny story because I wasn't really expecting it. Like, you never expect to actually get hit by a car, right? But that morning, I just woke up. I was actually running late to go to college. So I just got up, got dressed, and I put my um, coat on, put my headphones in, and I just started walking. And on my way to college, um, there's this little zebra crossing. And it's a zebra crossing, so I wasn't thinking too much of it. It's a zebra crossing, so you should really be stopped and you, people should be able to give way to you, right? But that's the thing, though. I started um, walking and I was crossing it and the car didn't stop. What the car did was, it hit me. <laughs> um, and it hit me, like, it hit me right here. So on my kneecap. And then I fell into the car, the back of my head, this part, bullseyed the windscreen and um, I dented the front of his car, obviously, because come on, it's me. Um, and then, yeah, so he hit me and I got back up and then I, come on, he, he got hit by a car. So I was angry, as you would be. I started swearing at the guy and everything like that. And then afterwards, I was thinking, okay, you know what? Forget this. I need to go to college. Because like I was like, I'm already late. I need to leg it and run to college. But I, uh, but everybody was like, no, 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 no. You need to stay. You need to stay. Um, you need to get checked out by the ambulance and everything like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I do need to do that just in case there's something happens. So I sat there and the location that I got hit by, or like hit, was a weird location. So you know it's on a zebra crossing, but where that zebra crossing was, was outside a GP. And the ambulance and the paramedics were so confused. They were like, wait, hold on. What's the address of the place? And they were like to me, um, it's outside um, the GP. And they was like, wait, hold on. Did he get hit by a car? And then walked himself to the GP. And so the, that was the first thing that I found so funny on that day. And then the paramedics came. They saw me. Um, police came. They took. Uh, they didn't take my statement. But they took um, like people around there. Their statements and everything like that. Um, while I was busy getting into the uh, ambulance. And we started driving back to... I had to swap my hands. Um, driving to the hospital, right? So then I was in the hospital, like in the, sorry, I was in the blah, 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 ambulance and I was just laying there, right? And I was just thinking to myself, I just got hit by a car. Like, it wasn't like a massive car or anything like that. It was a Ford Fiesta, no, not Ford Fiesta. It was a Ford KA 
um, it was a banger car. It was like a, it wasn't like a massive, massive car or anything like that. Um, and it hit me, right? And I thought to myself, okay, you know what? This probably, th th it was just mad. Do you get it? But me being me, I started joking about it. And I use humor to basically deal with a lot of things, right? So while I was in there, I'm just there. I'll insert a clip right now of how I look, right? I'm just there, my face, because my the back of my head got hit, right? I'm just there, they've got these thingies around my head, like to keep my neck and everything like that intact or like in position. And I'm just there and I'm just thinking to myself, I just got hit by a car, right? And I'm here just joking about it. Like, because it was Friday, it was a Friday, the 25th of November, right? So that's Black Friday, that like back then. So I was just making jokes about Black Friday. I was like, oh my God. So I was telling the paramedics. I was like, guys, I'm going to miss the TV sales. I was like, what are you not going to buy today? Are you guys going to get the PS4? Or like, do you know what I mean? I was saying those jokes to the paramedics. And one of them was just like, yeah, he was just join, joining in with me. And he just said, like, he was just laughing along with me. And I was just like, okay, you know what? Yeah. This is it, right? So they took me to the hospital and I am going to pause it here only because my hand really hurts. Uh, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. After the ambulance, I, they drove me back to the hospital and yeah, I got seen. Um, the nurse, uh, again, I still was carrying on with my jokes. This is what I mean by it was memorable for me because obviously I was remembering the jokes of it. And the nurse was there just saying, hi, how are you? And everything like that. Um, like, I can't fault the NHF on that. They were really helpful with me anyways. Um, and they just asked me about some things. I told them that um, I got hit on my leg and the back of my neck um, went in. So back of my head went into the car. Um, so they wanted to do a scan on my on my head and a scan on my knee just to make sure everything's a okay. I did tell them that I was feeling fine. Like, I, I was actually fine. Um, long story short, I was fine, um, but they just wanted to be like double, double check and just double sure. Is double sure a word? They want to be reassured. I think that's the word reassured. Um, but yeah, I was, I was just in the mid, um, the beds, and I was just again making jokes. I was there for about two, three hours. I can't remember. Um, but I had my phone with me, so, um. I was just there talking, uh, like texting my college group chat and I was telling them that guys, like I got hit by a car, I'm not going to be in school. And everybody in college, they were just like, Saleh, really, come on, do you think we're dumb? Like obviously you're going to the Black Friday deals. And the reason why they kept saying that is because for like a couple of days before that, I said to them, uh, I swear I can't wait for Black Friday, I'm going to buy like a massive TV, I was going to get uh, the PS4 and everything like that. Um, so I was, I was basically hyping it up, but I was broke then, so I wasn't really going to buy anything, but they, these guys thought I was. Um, so they were like to me, no, you're just at the deals, isn't it? And then I took a photo and I sent them that, and then my lecturer, he was like, okay, fine, that's fine, you can just, yeah, just let, keep us updated, which is what they said. But the funniest call, the funniest call has to be when the nurse called my mom, because... <laughs> My mom, bless her heart, right? I love her to bits, honestly, yeah. But I'm the type of person that I will make so many jokes to the point where people don't believe what I say is true. So I had to call mom, like they needed something. Like obviously I got hit by a car, so they would like, you have to have someone to take you home or someone to assist you. Um, because I was 17 at the time, so I wasn't 18. So I couldn't really just like get go home by myself. So they were like to me, um, do you have a, um, what's your emergency contact? I was like, uh, my mom. So then I, they asked me for my mom's number. And I'm like, I don't know my mom's number. Like, who remembers people's numbers? And they were like, okay, do you have, like, a phone and everything like that? And I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, I pulled up my phone, I gave my mum a call, and I just told her, I was like, Amma, um, I got hit by a car. And then she was like, silly, be, like, make it quick, I'm at work. Like, what happened? And I'm like, I got hit by a car. And she was like, why are you joking? Like, like she, she just didn't believe me. To the point, I was like, okay, you don't believe me? Nurse? Speak to my mom. 
The nurse said it and literally gave like like she was just she explained it to my mom that yeah he got in a car crash um at this ward um at this time um are you able to come pick it up and then my mom was like yeah that's sure that's everything um yeah sure i'll come and leave gave back the phone to me i answered it i was like hey mom like yeah you're making your way and she was like to me she still didn't believe me after the nurse spoke on, on my behalf she didn't believe me you know what my mom said my mom said to me is this a prank that you and your college mates are playing right now? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and I said, no, wallahi, I'm not. I, I'm in hospital, I got hit by a car. And then the nurse next to me, st- she didn't leave. She was just still next to me. She started laughing because she was like, because she must have knew that I swore that I am in hospital. And then she's the, the nurse started laughing like properly like she's never thought that she had like I don't know she just never encountered this I'm assuming but she laughed so much about it and then yeah my mom came she picked me up um she you know she came we saw the scans everything like that the doctor said we were fine and everything like that um and then yeah from then we got a cab we we're, we're in home and I just, I, I was in pain, a little bit in pain. I think that was because they told me not to move as much just in case. But you know, when you don't move as much, you just become stiff. That how, it was how I, that is how I was feeling. I wasn't feeling more in the sense of, ah, I'm in pain, pain. It's more just stiffness. Um, but yeah. I, I was all fine. I didn't have no broken bones. I haven't. I didn't have like a concussion. No internal bleeding whatsoever. So it was all a good um, car crash. If that if that's a way of saying it, but no, I'm thankful that that's how the car crash went. But then afterwards, I was thinking more about like the situation and how everything happened. Now I was rushing to go to school, uh, college, right? And I tell people that this this car crash, I'm actually thankful that I'm the one that got hit. Now people are always like, well, what do you mean by that? Why would you be thankful to get hit by a car? Nobody, nobody in their right mind would be thankful to be hit by a car, right? But I told them, no, I actually am quite happy that I am the one that got hit by a car. Because you see guys, it was during school, school run, so, as myself, I was late for um, college, right? And my college started a bit more early, but there was actually kids that was going to school and it could have been them that got hit. Like a little child could have was could have been in my position. Um, they could have been walking across and basically walking across the zebra crossing and they could have got hit themselves. So, it, the, and the paramedics said, yeah, you're actually very lucky that it's like, because I was, I'm fat in it. So they was like to me, you're actually lucky that you're, you're bi-. so they said this, you're lucky your built actually um, took a lot of the pressure. Um, so basically it said, they said that because I'm fat, it, it didn't really hurt as much and it didn't really cause a lot of damage. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that ju- this is when I was in the ambulance. They said that to me. So then I just remember that. And then I was thinking to myself, so if that was a little kid, Imagine that if they hit, they got hit instead of me. So that's why I'm always thankful that during that whole day of like getting hit by a car, going to hospital, speaking to these paramedics and then going home, thinking about what happened. I'm genuinely so thankful that it was me that got hit instead of them. Um, and yeah, even though it was an ex- crazy experience, it's an experience that I will never forget because it was just funny. And there was like a moral to the story. Um, Just always be thankful for your life um, because that could have been the end of me. Um, But Alhamdulillah, it wasn't. And yeah, I think now there's a bit more to the story, but I just don't want to long it out because there's a timer on the camera. Um, I can see how long this, like I can average on how long this video is going to be. But yeah. I'll probably end it here. There's a bit more to it. But um, yeah, that's the story of me getting hit by a car.
hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, please let me know what you think um, do you interact with me message me um, drop a comment down below and hopefully i'll see you lot soon take it easy now bye